Hi, welcome to What Jack Has Made. I'm very excited to present to you a new free series on how to use WordPress as a headless CMS for your Gatsby applications. In the first chapter of the series, we're going to be covering WordPress, getting started with your setup, required plugins that you'll need for your specialized GraphQL backend environment, and then we'll be pulling down um, uh, the Timber starter theme, setting up some ACF custom Gutenberg blocks, and exploring how we surface some of those fields to our schema, as well as the Yoast SEO fields to our GraphQL schema. In the second chapter of the series, we're going to be covering Gatsby, how to get a starter kit up and running on your local machine. Then we're going to be plugging in the WordPress environment that we set up in the first chapter as a data source for our GraphQL schema in our internal Gatsby project. Then we'll be showing you how to query this schema inside a page template, as well as programmatically creating pages based on the nodes available from your WordPress environment. So this would be creating a page for every page or post or case study or any custom post types that you have in your WordPress environment. Then we'll be moving on to a very advanced concept, which is component parsing, where we'll be looking at the WordPress Gutenberg blocks and then depending on what blocks we find, we'll render uh, React components and use the data fields from ACF for those blocks as props in our React components. We'll then be covering styled components, which looks at how to create CSS on the fly, depending on what props we provide our components. We'll be then creating a WordPress menu system, which allows us to create dynamic WordPress menus that pull into Gatsby. So this could be for your header or a sidebar or your footer navigation. Um, we'll be then correcting the homepage slug because there is a weird build issue that we'll come across when pulling in the information from our WordPress source. And then finally, we'll be creating an SEO component. And then in the third uh, chapter of this series, we're gonna be covering Netlify. Um, how to deploy your uh, Gatsby site to Netlify for free. And then we'll be uh, creating a build hook, which will be attaching to our WordPress environment, which means that when you make a change in your WordPress dashboard, it will trigger a new build on Netlify for your Gatsby website, making sure that your website is always changed when a client or yourself changes the content of the site. And then finally, we'll be covering how to create a form I have a contact form on my website and it's important to have forms in any website you work on to make sure that people can get in touch or create an application and you know various other ways of using forms. So I'll be showing how to do that for free using Netlify. So that's the general course structure. There will be bonus videos throughout and extended videos at the end to improve the experience for your Gatsby application but that is the um, minimum requirements of what we're gonna be covering. And the final website will look something similar like, like this. Um, this is my current website and we'll be rebuilding it using the GraphQL uh, plugins that are available to WordPress now, thanks to Jason Ball and um, you know all the Gatsby employees working their hardest to help create a bridge between WordPress and Gatsby. So, We'll be redesigning this and re well redeveloping it. All of the source code will be available on GitHub under um, a repository that I'll be making public and attaching to the description of this video. And if you want, you can go ahead and clone that repo and follow along. But we're first going to cover how to set up the WordPress environment. So stay tuned for that episode.